the Emperor has ordered that these Thai defenders be transported there immediately. I have studied Zarin's ways and have discovered a weakness in his reliance on technology. When our newest Starfighter is completed, our forces will strip Zarin of his technological advantage. Your xenocentric chauvinism is no concern of mine. I care about performance and results, and your record is exemplary. I do not care about your petty bigotry. Understood? Go! Oh, but Commander, if I ever find out that your bigotry is affecting your performance, I'll have your carcass ejected with the next garbage load. Tybazan, I've come to collect your artifact for the Emperor. Comply with my demands, and I promise a swift and reasonably honorable death. In a matter of speaking, yes. Shiza is dead. All beings begin their lives with hopes and aspirations. Among these aspirations is the desire that there will be a straight path to those goals. It is seldom so. Perhaps never. Sometimes the turns are of one's own volition as one's thoughts and goals change over time. But more often, the turns are mandated by outside forces. It was so with me. The memory is vivid, unsullied by age. The five admirals rising from their chairs as I am escorted into the chamber. Colonel Yularen, what do you think of this design? A stylized expression of a Lothcat, a ubiquitous native of Lothal, and rendered by a very familiar artist. The use of this specific color, the angle of the line, this is the work of the rebel Sabine Wren. I believe this helmet belongs to her compatriot, the young Jedi, and I escaped prisoner, Ezra Bridger. Because, Colonel Yularen, Callus is the rebel spy, Fulcrum. He used Liszt's cylinder to impersonate and implicate him. And more importantly, he used the young Jedi's power to gain access to my office and reprogram my droids. Very skillfully, I might add. And that is why you and so many others have been deceived. I believe Agent Fulcrum will prove far more useful to the Empire than Callus ever was.